why did you choose this kind of structure? Oh, uh, it's a uh, common three-act structure. I think that it's the most natural. But you know, it wasn't, um, it wasn't something that I was concentrated on to decide on the structure. I'd rather concentrate on the, on the story and what interests me the most. But then it fell into this structure. So its structure is um, not first. The story and the, the plot is first, and then the structure is second. But I liked it a lot because I think that the character changes so much with time. So I used also the opportunity to play a little bit with the passing of time. And this is why the stories look different. The, I mean, the three acts of the stories are like different stories, but also connected in one. And I'm also working now on my new film, which is similar as a structure. There are three stories, and I think it's something that is close to me somehow. It's my story with my mom, so I dedicated the film to her. And uh, I think that maybe this is one of the reasons why I've managed to stay with the film so long and to be so persistent of doing it, because it's so personal and it's something that really interests me and something that um, I feel very well. So I knew the film, and I... it's. You know, it's so funny that at the end the film looks exactly like I imagined it to look like. And this I hear here is very uh, very rare in films. I like milk a lot. No, I don't have a problem with the milk. I think that, um, well, obviously the milk is a metaphor. And it's a metaphor for connection, for pureness, for, for mother and do daughter or mother and a child, for um, warmth. And uh, it's not my problem, really. But um, it was a metaphor, I know. But it was a metaphor that somehow served the plot. So it was important to, to follow it all the way, uh, the story with the milk. If you, I mean, if you see it, it has, it's interesting because the blood, the milk, all these big elements and metaphors in the film, they have their own path. You can take them out and say, okay, so the milk goes from here and to there, and the blood goes from here to there and brings this and this and this on the way. Yeah. Victoria, the, this is the, um, the middle one. And the big one uh, are my nieces. These are my brother's daughters. And they are not um, in the film because they are well connected. But uh, I've been uh, casting lots of kids. And I actually couldn't find the kid I imagined that I wrote the story for. And it was interesting that I was complaining about it over a lunch, uh, a family lunch. And I said, oh, come on, it's not so complicated what I need from this kid. And I was uh, pointing at Daria. I said, Daria, tell this, do this. And then she, oh, she was like, no, I'm not interested. But then she did it. I was like shocked that somehow it felt so natural, you know. And then I took, it took me six months to convince her sister to play in the film. And so uh, they were very... Um, tough in the um, preparation, but they were perfect on the set. I mean, they really made my life hell during the preparation. Like, OK, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go to the costumes. No, I'm not going to uh, come and do the costumes. They were really driving me insane. My assistants were crying out of them. And I thought that, and I had this production manager helping with the film. And she said, you know what? You're going to have a horrible experience with these kids. And then they were just perfect. <laughs> So it was, uh, I, it was the price to pay. So did you work with Al Capullo? Uh, as a co-producer? Uh, we, we have a very... Uh, it's important to say that we have a, f a relationship between friends, and this is the easy part. So if you say this, then everything can... You can gulp everything. I mean, I'm not easy to work with because I'm uh, crazy about my, my work, and I'm very persistent, and I'm very focused on it, and so on. But um, she's uh, patient. So it's cool. <laughs> yeah. It was out in the States uh, in April this year, 2016. And now it's uh, out in Romania. But it was out in Bulgaria less than a year ago. So it's uh, just a longer journey. It's so funny because every time you think, OK, it's over. So the, the path of the film is over because it's been everywhere, it's done this and this and this. Then suddenly something new starts with it. And I like it a lot because uh, I was telling Anka that for me it's important that I didn't make a film because I want to make a festival film that will win some awards and nobody will remember it. No, I want to, f to make and I wanted to and made a film that somehow I think resonates to people and it doesn't matter when it's done, no?
So it's not like food that you cooked yesterday and today is not good anymore. It's more like uh, wine huh? that you put and with time it, it gets better, I hope. Let's see. <laughs>